Did I use the recreation setup? Okay, Turner. Thank you. Thank you, um, Mr. President. Um, I just want to um, briefly uh, uh, address a uh, first one. The lawsuit that was uh, filed by uh, Councilman Carter, there's a reference in the lawsuit that states that the clerk should replace the uh, mayor. I want to make it perfectly clear the city charter has a provision in it that if the office of the mayor is vacated before the end of this year, since it is an election year, what the process is um, for the mayor, and that would be actually the uh, council president. The clerk has no desire to be the mayor of this community. I'm very happy being the clerk of this community because some people have asked me, am I running? So I wanted to spell all rumors. No, I have no no, no, no desire to be mayor. I'm very happy that they honored that the city council um, selected me to serve as the, uh, the clerk. In addition to that, I do want to remind people who are running for office, whether it's mayor, city council, for the library uh, commission. City Hall is open from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. by appointment, although we're working in essence all day but we are available. Please make an appointment if you want to pick up any petitions or drop off uh, your petitions. The filing deadline is April uh, 20th. Thank you. All right, Dr. Sharp. Uh, yes, I just want to say that, um, again, as I stated earlier, you know, I accept the uh, pro tem apology. Uh, I think that up until this point, I have maintained a uh, good working relationship with the pro tem. And I don't think that it could be said that I have ever attempted to do anything that was not in the best interest of the council. As I think that most members uh, can attest to the fact that I don't always say things that you may want to hear, but I tell you what I think you should hear. And so um, in maintaining my own integrity, uh, I, again, I have never done anything that was not in the best interest of the city of Pontiac or the council. Um, with that, I think also uh, this kind of should serve as an example as to why it is important for, let me just say any adult for that matter, uh, should pay attention to documents that they're signing, especially legal documents, and more specifically a complaint. Because when you sign that, you attest that those facts are accurate and correct. And when you, in fact, file documents such as uh, a complaint with the court, it becomes public information. And now you publish this information to the world. And you can't retract it. Yes, you can apologize. And again, I'm accepting the apology. But now it's out there. And you can't take that back. So I just say, you know, again, sometimes people should be mindful of what they're putting out there because sometimes you can cause a lot of damage even when you didn't intend to cause that damage. Thank you. Councilwoman Sharamsky. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to piggyback a little bit on what Monique said. I was the one who wasn't in the real estate committee. I was under the weather. There was a miscommunication, mostly by me, I think, because I was under the weather about attending um, by phone conference call instead of in person. So uh, I was not kept out of the meeting. Uh, the other thing I'd like to say is, uh, Mayor, uh, one of my citizens is still asking for the canceled check for the uh, city hall, I mean, the council chamber chairs. Uh, if you can provide that the corresponding uh, um, item in the ledger. And I'd also like to say, yes, I did vote for this deal for the Phoenix Center Garage, and I do not agree with all of the deal, but, it, but the law lease is our standard, ground lease is our standard procedure, and that is just a mechanism for his, him to be able to get financing, and I will keep my hat if he has that piece that amount of time. Uh, and I can say further, but I better not. Um, but my residents, by, by and large, have told me, get that gone. I don't want it on my taxes. 
And that explains my vote, and several of them thanked me. And no, I'm not happy with the entire deal, but I don't see any knight and shine guard just going to swoop in and take this garage and fix it for us. Uh, we don't have the funds to repair it. We don't have the funds to keep it. Let somebody else give it a go. Thank you. Good evening. Councilwoman Ward. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, for all of you wondering about Patrice Waterman, I've done my time on this uh, city council. I've given this city almost 30, close to 40 years of my life. I will not be running. So all of you trolls that are out there uh, talking about she should be removed, uh, I'm going to remove myself as of December the 31st. And in closing, I will say to you, Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against me in judgment thou shalt condemn. And this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And to all of you, good night. Uh, Councilwoman Doris Taylor Burks. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, my voice will probably be the same as Councilman uh, Waterman. Uh, I got the shock of my life uh, this past uh, uh, weekend that a minister would go on Facebook and make an announcement, do not vote for Councilwoman Taylor Burks, Councilwoman Peeler, uh, Councilwoman uh, Warren. He is out of order and he needs to get back in his own place because he doesn't know any of us. And it was wrong. It upset me very, very bad. But I, I, I know there's a God. There's no doubt in my mind. And he's watching over me and, and everybody else. And so I pray for him because he's the one who's going to be in trouble, not me. So thank you. Councilwoman Miller. Thank you, Mr. President. Can you hear me? Am I on? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, what I want to say, first of all, I do agree with Attorney Sharp. Uh, you do have to be careful what you say and what you do. But you know, I watch the show, and a lot of people watch, and they all know what I talk about when I say that. I always, I always like to say, I don't watch what a person says. I watch what they do. You watch what they do. And I'm going to be on record for what I say, what I, what I believe in this city uh, bill. I think it's the worst vote I ever seen since I've been on council. I think that the people got through. I think that. Just because it's like my house. Well, I want to get rid of it. I can't afford it, but then I should just throw it away because I'm going to get charged in taxes for it. But hello, you're going to be paying more than $30,000 more than I can in interest every month from the general fund. I understand that the citizens are wanting something for the city Phoenix Center, and everybody, we can't get everything we want. But when are we going to stop being the city that just come in and just do what you want because we got to get rid of it? Because you know, just, just go ahead and take it. And you pay everything that needs to be paid for this building. I, I think the best thing that could have happened, as far as I'm concerned, a lot of things, you know, I live the attitude, what you do in the dark is going to come out to life. I don't go around the city, I don't go around bad, bad mouth to anybody, because I always believe that it's just going to come out anyway. What if it's just too small, first of all? It's just too small. You know, it really is. And my decision that I make a Every time I do something, I try to do it in the best interest of the system. It's not even about me at all. Everything I bring to the table is nothing but personal, nothing but possible to go over your bill of form. This is all for my residents and for me, because I do this well. And this deal, if the mayor can't answer whether $7 million, have they given one capital? For $7 million? Let me question you. This should be straight and direct answer. We voted on something that wasn't all there. 
Um, I can take 10 to 15 people if you can give me their names and we can get them in uh, on a block at a given time, uh, nine to uh, three on Saturday. So I just wanted to let that no be known as a community service because I know you guys get calls too and we're not necessarily always included in what the plans of the city is. And so I have seniors calling me and I have to wait for a Facebook announcement to find out what's happening uh, with a $20 million deal with the Phoenix Center. Why? Because at that given moment, they refuse to return my phone calls, they refuse uh, to answer my emails, and when you ask where $7.4 million is, nobody has anything to say. And so I'm going to be 30 seconds. Thank you so much for allowing me uh, to be uh, not only council president, but the council person for the east side of Pontiac and part of the north side. So thank you very much and good night. I'm going to adjourn this meeting at 844.